I'm sorry my light is like crazy. The sun is going down. So I'm kind of filming this kind of later and it's just like, it's either way too bright or too dark. I'm just, we're just gonna roll with it, okay? So sorry about that, guys. So, okay, what's the next thing? I think I'll do mask next. So I am a huge fan of mask, um, sheet mask in particular. I was reading this article about K-pop stars and the skincare things that they do. And like we have talked about before, anything that K-pop stars are doing, I am gonna do, okay? So I was reading that a lot of them, they live by the, the code, um, one, one pack a day or something, one pack one day or something like that. But it's literally, they do a sheet mask every day. Like they do one of these every single day and that's how they keep their skin really, really glowy and perfect before an event. So I did do one mask a day for like a month and my skin was flawless. Um, I might do a video about that as well. I really like these. I like a bunch of them. Basically, if it was made in Korea, I'll buy it. Um, I love the Tony Moly ones though. They're always good for me. Uh, they have a lot of different kinds. I obviously have a buttload of them. Um, skin soothing, purifying, moisturizing, nourishing and they all kind of do a little different things. Um, I do have to be careful with some of the Tony Moly ones since there's even way more options than this. Um, but some of the ingredients get a little bit long on the back. I like to get ones that have like a shorter list on the back, uh, like this one here. It has like very, very short list. I, I'm just an ingredient junkie, so like if there's certain things on there that I'm like, oh, I don't think my skin would do well with that, I just avoid that one, obviously. And I always, these do, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this out there as well. Korean skincare, a lot of it does have a little bit of fragrance in there. My skin is usually really sensitive to fragrance. If it has fragrance, I'm like, absolutely not. It's just like a better, like, I just don't really like it. My skin sometimes gets hivey, it'll break out, whatever. It just doesn't love it. Um, but most of this skincare that I have, even the Amore Pacific is fragranced. Um, the COSRX is not fragranced. Tony Moly, these are fragrance. The reason why Korean skincare puts fragrance in their things is because it's supposed to be like a ritualistic thing. Uh, it's supposed to be an experience. So a lot of the times they're using like plant fragrances and things like that. I haven't had that much bad experience with Korean fragrances for whatever reason. It's not like major department store or major department store brand fragrances that I'm really sensitive to, like heavy perfumes. So most of these I don't have an issue with. And like these, like fragrance is literally the like very, one of the very last ingredients. So as long as it's kind of far down on the list and not like number five or number two, then I'm usually good to go on that. And speaking of other masks, I do have these um, snail jelly masks. These are by Skinderm. They look like this. I got these on Apollo. I can't sun excuse me <laughs> anyway i got these actually off of amazon there was a whole pack there was i think 10 in a box and the price was really good and i really like the actual mask on these the actual fabric feels really really nice it feels like thinner um like more a little bit more like i don't want to say like skin like <laughs> like luxurious i guess than the tony moly ones you can just tell it's like a nicer application of the actual mask so yeah these are really really nice and i will actually link these below on my amazon hi baby oh hi baby pumpkin bumps what the baby doing Um, so yeah, I will link these actually in the description. Um, I'll try to link some, a lot of this in the description um, and I'll just link it to my Amazon shop. Okay, so on to my moisturizers. Um, another COSRX item that I absolutely love is the Advanced um, Snail, Advanced Snail 92. Hi, somebody is very needy today. I love this moisturizer. 
This is another one. I really, I'm like running so low. I have a very little amount left in here. Um, but like I said, like the essence is these were on sale at Ulta recently. And I missed it, obviously. Um, and I'm bummed because I'm like, okay, when is it gonna get back in stock? Because I'm running out. And I really, really love this moisturizer. It might be my favorite moisturizer I've ever bought. Um, it's definitely one of the best. Again, it has a very high concentration of the snail mucin, 92% in this one. Uh, and it's just very, very hydrating. Like this shit never breaks me out. It feels really, really weird. It doesn't, it feels kind of like literally like goo. I, <laughs> that sounds really appealing, but it literally, I don't know if you guys can see, it's really disgusting. Um, I, I'm gonna try to get it really close so you can see. So I it feel, it, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, I don't know. But it's really, really hydrating uh, without being oily at all. So yeah, I really, really love the moisturizer. It's super lightweight, it never breaks me out. It's not oily at all. It sinks in and I feel like it just makes my skin look just like chef's kiss, like. Okay, so this is the last thing that I have to show you guys for my Korean skincare extravaganza. Um, I love this cream. I actually recently just got it. I have loved a lot of Amora Pacific stuff. I've used it for over a year now, but this is something new to me and I am obsessed, obviously, because they like pretty much everything that they make, everything they make is like elevated luxury Korean skincare um, and it delivers. Uh, this one is the Time Response Skin Reserve Gel Cream. Um, it looks like this. Mm. Uh, and this one actually comes with its little own cute little spatula, which is just so nice. I just love shit like this. I don't know why that makes a difference, but it does. I love this cream. It's like a gel cream. Um, so it's kind of like a mix of a gel and a cream. It's still really hydrating. It has green tea seed oil in it. Um, it's not an oil that's irritating to me or anything like that. And it's heavy in like the green tea, a luxury item, obviously. So I would say I just like, this is the thing guys. Okay, so I am a big believer in, especially with skincare, you get what you pay for, okay? It's just the truth. I'm sorry to tell you guys. It's just, it is what it is. Are there less expensive dupes? Yes, are they gonna get the job done? Kinda, you know what I mean? Like, it's just like, you get what you pay for. So I, what I like to do, like I'm not balling either. So what I like to do is I like to mix luxury skincare and then less expensive items like COSRX. Um, both of them work really well and they work well together. So I'll just kind of like alternate them and that lets my luxury products go longer. And these also still deliver really good results. So. I like the best of both worlds, okay? I like to mix and match expensive and not expensive. So just a um, last couple of bonus items I have picked up recently. These two things I haven't tried yet, I just have them, uh, but they are Korean skincare and I will try to do like an updated video for you guys to let you guys know what I thought of them. So these two things are by Suwasu. Um, Suasu is also a very high-end luxury Korean skincare brand. It's actually one of the most popular skincare brands actually in Korea, so that's saying something. Apparently a lot of like their grandmas and moms use it, you know, so, and their skin looks great, so I trust them. So this one is the First Care Act Serum. This is the most popular thing that they make. It's what made them famous. It's basically a booster serum. It's supposed to do everything under the sun and, it, and it's supposed to boost all your other skincare no matter what you're using i haven't tried this yet but i'm going to and then another thing i got is this this is the suasu concentrated ginseng renewing eye cream this looks like this um and actually i'll take these out of the box for you so you can see this is the eye cream um it's a concentrated ginseng eye cream and it's supposed to be anti-aging and like very very emollient so i'm sure i'll like that I like anything that feels very like thick around my eyes. So like I said, I haven't used those two things yet, but I'm excited to because they have really, really good reviews and they're very much well loved in the Korean community. So anyway, thanks for sticking around and watching the whole thing. I hope you guys picked up some things maybe you want to try out. If you do end up trying them out, make sure to let me know if you like them, what you thought. 
Um, if you have suggestions of Korean skincare that you love, please, please, please drop it in the comments because I will definitely pick it up. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to link everything that I mentioned if it's available on Amazon. I hope you guys are having a wonderful week and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.